Chris Cox here. I've got a great Kiss guitar lesson for you today. Today we're going to do Psycho Circus. The tuning for this is E flat. Let's go ahead and jump into that introduction. Right now. Oh. break down what's going on there. So first thing is going to be a B5 chord. So we're going to put our first finger here on the second fret of the A. Ring finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the D. Pinky finger is also on the fourth fret of the, G, of the G. So you have second, first finger, fourth, third finger, fourth, pinky finger. And we're just going to two down strums there. And then we're going to switch to this which is kind of a little bit of a tricky chord to play. It's uh, the, the movement's gonna occur here from the second fret to the third fret on the low E. You're gonna anchor your ring finger here on the third fret of the B, so you get a... Now I should say you probably can see I'm laying my first finger across the A string so that we can mute it, so we don't want that one to ring out. So we have this so far. do a that's going to be a switch from a G E5 B5 E5 there so so let's go over that really slowly so we have a G again that we're not going to play that uh, A string we're just going to meet it with uh, the side of our middle finger the uh, fretting is actually third fret of the low E Third fret of the B, and we have. Then we go to an E5, which is open E, second fret of the A. And then we're going to go back to that uh, B5 that we learned earlier, second fret of the A, fourth fret of the D. And then we come to the A5, and that's going to be open A, second fret of the D. So all together. to the first verse. Nice thing about learning the intro riff, if you know that riff, then you know the chorus of the song as well. So let's go into the verses now. This is the chorus pedal that I'm using in this lesson called the Nux Mod Core. It's very versatile, got a lot of really cool, rich chorus sounds. I'm gonna leave their website link in the description of this video. Go check out all their products. They've got a lot of great stuff. This is Nux Mod Core play through the chords and then we'll talk about the subtlety. So the first one is going to be just B5. That's second fret of the A, fourth fret of the D, fourth fret of the G. Now this is going to be a D5 down here, but that first part we're going to play that chord augmented. So the, the fretting is going to be pinky finger or ring finger, either one, on the seventh fret of the D string. And you're going to put your first finger here on the fourth fret of the, of the A, play those two notes together, and then play the D5, which is going to be fifth fret of the A, seventh fret of the D. So we have... Then we go to A which is going to be 5th fret of the low E, 
seventh fret of the A string, and then we come down two frets to the G5. That's going to be third fret of the low E, fifth fret of the A string. So this is what we have so far. Changes right there, we go from a G to an A, so that's what we learned earlier, that G chord that we've got that A string muted to an A5, and there's two down strums there. So we'll play the whole thing through. ending here. Quickly I want to mention I have a Patreon channel now that you can access in the description of this video. I'm going to leave the link. It includes uh, members only videos that you can only get as a Patreon member as well as guitar tab for the lessons. So go check that out. I sure appreciate the support. That last measure That's just taking your, your middle finger and just placing it on the low E and just sliding up and down and then come to, that's a, a E5, so open, a, open E, second fret of the A. And we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. We're gonna play that augmented G chord. So, so that's, you're gonna anchor your pinky finger or ring finger on the fifth fret of the A, you're gonna play the second fret of the low E, then move your first finger down and play the third fret of the low E. Pinky finger stays in the same spot. And then the, the A5 we learned early, and then it goes back and then we're into the chorus. Same thing. Nothing changes here. about that. Then we go into the next chord. So on that last measure, now that's just taking your, your middle finger and just placing it on the low E and just sliding up and down and then come to, that's a, a E5, so open, a, open E, second fret of the A. do the same thing we did earlier we're gonna play that augmented G chord so, so that's you're gonna anchor your pinky finger or ring finger on the fifth fret of the A you're gonna play the second fret of the low E then move your first finger down and play the third fret of the low E pinky finger stays in the same spot and then the, the A5 we learned early and then it goes back and then we're into the chorus Same thing. Nothing changes here.
sorry about that. And then we go into the next chorus. Then we're into that really uh, kind of middle part. I guess the first part would be considered a bridge. And then the last part's going to be the solo. So let's go over the bridge part. This is a uh, this melody part. I guess would be considered the bridge right before the solo. So we're going to do a playthrough on that real quick. So let's break down that. So it's going to start here on the 7th fret of the G. We're going to go 7 to 6 on the G to 7, 5 on the D. So it's and repeat that again. But we rest there on the 7th fret of the D. So slowly. It changes slightly on the next pass through. We do the same frets. 7, 6, 7 on the D, to 4 on the D. Repeats again. Now that part, we're going to do 7 on the G, 6 on the G, 7 on the D, 8 on the D. come back and play the 6, 7 on the G, slide to the fourth, uh, to the 11th fret of the G, and then end on the 9th fret of the D. So all together slowly. Another harmony solo, but I'm going to show you the main melody part. Uh, so this is the beginning of the guitar solo. So we have... So let's play that part. So we have 9 of the G string, so 9th fret of the G string, to 8. You're going to hold that, put some vibrato on it. Now that's going to be 7 of the G, excuse me, 8 of the G to 9 of the G, and then to the 7th fret of the B to the 8th. And then we, that's going to be 7th fret of the G to 6th of the G. So let's play that slowly again. Goes back again. So let's go over to that. So everything's the same. Set sixth fret, uh, excuse me, eighth fret of the G to nine to seven of the B, eight of the B, and then we do. So that's going to be a big stretch there, so you're playing from the 7th fret of the G string to the 4th fret to the 5th fret of the D, and then you're sliding with your ring finger from 7 to 9 on the G. So what we got so far, so... It's a little bit awkward there. And then we do this. So that's going to be, uh, that's the next part, it's going to be 7th fret of the D, 6th fret of the G, and then 5th fret of the, of the B, so we... 
to the ninth fret of the G to the eighth fret. So we have seven, six, five, nine, eight. Then we do this. Eight, nine, seven, eight. Now we do that slide from the eight to the twelve. Slide from the eighth of the B to the twelfth of the B, and then come back to the tenth of the B. Come back to the twelfth fret of the B. And that's going to be, you can hold that and play this. That's going to be 12, 14, 12. Then we play that. So it's going to be 12 of the B, 12 of the G, 14 of the D. You're sliding. If I can slide right. <laughs> so it's a quick slide there from 12 to 14 on the G. So 12, 12, 14, back to 12 on the G. Then we do. And that's going to be 14 of the G, 14 of the B, and then 15 of the B, and then bend. And then we go into the single uh, guitar solo, which I believe is played by Tommy Thayer, so we're gonna go into that. So now we're into the main part of the guitar solo, which is based around the B minor pentatonic scale, so if we played that. The roots are gonna be here on the seventh fret of the low E, Ninth fret of the D, and then there's another root name on the seventh fret of the high E. So that's going to be a lot of this is going to be based in that that scale. So we start off with a so let's talk about that because that 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 little lick there is going to come back in the solo. So first, you just want to anchor your first finger across the fifth, excuse me, seventh fret of the B and high E string, and then you know the bending and everything is going to come here from the ninth fret of the G. But when we play this, we do want to pick that first that you want to pluck the G and the B string as a chord. Now, once I hit that, I'm just doing a, bend, a quick bend up on the ninth fret of the G. And then play in the seventh fret of the B and high E. So we have... Now, on that third time, we just do a... We don't arpeggiate the B in the high E string, so we do it. And then we do this. So we're going to do a bend up here on the ninth fret of the G. And then you come back down to pitch. And you're going to pull off from 9 to 7 on the G. Come to the ninth fret of the D. Back to the seventh fret of the G. going to hammer on from 7 to 9. Then we do this. Same thing we learned earlier, but we come down here and do this. So that's going to be those, those double stop chordal type licks. First one's going to be on the 14th fret of the G. And then you're going to anchor your first finger here on the 12th fret of the B string and just do a, play those two strings together. Shift everything down a whole step to the 16th fret of the G, 14th fret of the B. Do the same thing and then one fret down to the 17th fret of the G, 15th fret of the B. So it's just... And then you come back and play this again. We're going to come back down here where we're doing a really long climb. This is the hard part of the solo to me. So you do a, which we already learned, 14th fret of the G to the B, 16th fret of the G, 14th fret of the B, 
17th fret of the G, 15th fret of the B, and then we do it much better if you have a guitar that doesn't have a big connection. You know, mine's got a big block here back, but you know, in the high fret. So if you've got a neck through body a guitar, that it makes it a little bit easier. But let's go through that last part. You're doing a now you're gonna have to grab these. Well, I have to on this guitar anyway because of this, you know, I don't have as much space, but I'm having to grab that 19th fret of the G with my middle finger, 17th fret of the B with my first finger, and you're just doing and then you go down another whole step. This would be the 21st fret of the G, and this would be the, uh, wait, let me, I'm sorry about that. I think, uh, yeah, 19, this is 19 of the B, so. And then we finish with a. Now, that's gonna be all the way down here. I believe we are on the 22nd fret, and then you're gonna do your first finger here on the uh, 21st. Let's see, 19th fret. So. Now, when you do that, again, playing the whole thing, you know, is two strings together. When you do that, you're doing two down strums. And then you stop it. You don't want to bring it down, so. And so it's that's the hardest part of the song, so that. And then slide out of that. So this is the final part. Everything else after this part we've already learned. And so this is the kind of interlude part we do a take a little bit of distortion off of that. So the first one is just B minor. So that's going to be first finger on the second fret of the A, third finger on the fourth fret of the D, fourth finger on fourth finger on the fourth fret of the G, and then middle finger on the third fret of the B. So we do. So it's going to be A, D, G to high E, and then to B. That's going to be open D. Um, again, we're keeping that same uh, kind of melody, so we're just changing the, the bass notes. So it's going to be second fret of the G, uh, third fret of the B string, and then open E. That's just straight down D, G, B, high E, B. Then we do. And that's going to be your, your fretting on the second fret of the D and G, playing the open A, and then we've got our ring finger here on the third fret of the B, so we do. Then we come here, we're going to, all the movement's going to occur from there is to the G. So that's going to be G, the low E, skip the A, and then play the open D and G. And that last part is high E, B. Open G. So all together, I'll play that slowly.
So after we play that interlude, there's this last little part that kind of builds up, and it just it's just basically uh, following the melody. So it's a. Uh, into that main riff. So that's just going to be some muted uh, five chords. So we start on the B, which we already have learned. And then we play that augmented D5, I guess. That's E5. That's just that augmented G. A5 and then and then it just basically uh, it, that's the end of the song. So